Hello. Let's talk about my dentures. <laughs> Um, hi, if you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and I am sharing my denture journey with everyone. I tried something new today. I've been very hesitant to use adhesives. I don't deal well with goopy stuff or certain tastes. Um... They actually physically make me sick. So I've just kind of been dealing with the slight movement of my denture all day, every day. Eating wasn't the easiest, but it also wasn't, you know, something that was really giving me a lot of problems. <clears throat> My denture would rock back and forth pretty bad while I was eating because the soft reline that I had done has worn down quite a bit. My gums have shrunk and my denture just doesn't fit very well right now until I get my next soft reline and then I'll get a hard reline done later. That's my goal at least. I'm supposed to get a different set but I really like these teeth. So I'm going to try to just have them do a hard reline and use this denture because I really, really like these teeth. So I am in a few denture groups on Facebook and I kept seeing this product being talked about. So I ordered it finally. I was really hesitant to order it because I've paid a lot of money for other stuff and then I can't even use it. Like I'll try and I will with it and I just give up so I ordered it broke down and ordered it it was $9.99 and free shipping I ordered it directly off of their website I ordered it I think Monday and I got it today so that was really fast it was either Monday or Tuesday that I ordered it and I, I got it already so I did it today, I put it in, and I'm going to show you what comes in the box. So it comes in this tube, and then it comes with this that you put on here and use it to squeeze it out. I didn't have to use this yet today because it just came out really easily today. So, but next time I may have to use that. So basically what you do is you put it in a cup of warm water or run it under warm water and get it like manageable and then put it in your denture. And it lasts, this box says up to four days. I'm hearing people say it lasts longer. So we're going to find out. So in terms of application, it was pretty easy to do. I... Followed the instructions. You have to make sure that your denture is really dry. Um, so that wasn't hard. I it, it was really easy and it was a really fast process too. Like I think it took me all of five minutes, if even that, to put it in my denture. You basically just take it out, roll it around, get it warm and pliable, and then put it in your denture. Next time I do it, I will actually post a video of that so that you guys can see how I did it. Um, but then you just let it sit for five minutes in your denture out of your mouth and then you put it in your mouth and you like push up here and then push in the back and push and bite down. Um, so installation on my denture was super easy. <clears throat> taste wise, there wasn't really a taste. Um, if anything, kind of like a... I don't know how to describe it. Very mild. There wasn't really any taste. Uh, I had asked, you know, what to expect in the denture in the dentures group on Facebook, and some of them said it might burn. It didn't really burn for me. Maybe a very mild tingle, maybe, but it wasn't really even noticeable. I just made sure that my mouth was super clean. So before I did it, 
so the tingle was already there from my mouthwash and stuff so I don't know if that would affect it if I hadn't have done that would it have, would I have noticed it more um I, I did gag on it it not because it's gooey or gross but it's more of a mind over matter situation for me and I just I knew it was in there I could feel it on my gums and it it was a little much for me but I got through it I was able to breathe through it um I left it in place for about 20 minutes ish I think you're supposed to leave it in for longer than that but I managed 20 minutes and then some of it had came out of the back of my plate towards my throat and I was starting to gag so I took it out and I kind of just took a pair of scissors and trimmed that off a little bit where it had leaked out and put it back in I've had them in all day since then I've taken them out one more time to get some of the like overflow trimmed down but other than that it's been great I ate and I realized that I had been struggling to eat a lot more than I thought I was um with this stuff in like my teeth are in there good I can take them out easily then so I'm not having to pry them out but just normal conversation sneezing <laughs> coughing I am they're not falling down which is awesome they feel really really good up here um, and secure it's really cushiony like the name cushion grip <sighs> eating my dentures didn't rock back and forth at all and I, I realized that I had already retrained in the few weeks that I've been eating with my dentures I'd already retrained my jaw muscles to eat in an inappropriate manner so with this and my denture actually functioning the way it should be my jaw muscles were achy after dinner tonight uh, I realized that I had really been overcompensating for that denture being loose and I'm telling you even if I had to reapply this every single day that would be a little expensive but it would be worth it because this is this is awesome um, I I've been told not to soak them the first night so I'm just gonna leave them in for the night because it can get a little waterlogged I guess but it's so far so good hopefully it lasts for four days like it says it will it will but it says up to four days um so we'll see how long it lasts me I'll keep you guys updated on it but so far this is going to be my saving grace I think until I get that hard reline and possibly even after because there's something about the hard acrylic of a denture sitting in your gums that just does not feel natural it it's just uncomfortable I remember before I got my first soft reline how it felt and the soft reline is great for the first week but the more you eat on it the more it kind of wears down so but this stuff I can take in and out I've heard that taking it out can be a little a little tough so we'll see we'll see what happens with it but so far I'm loving it definitely worth the the price just for me to be able to have secured dentures and not have to worry about them flying out when I sneeze <laughs> so um, the only little complaint that I might have and it's on me is I may have put a little too much up here because you can you can see the gap now you can kind of see a little bit of it right there on my denture but um, they look really fake right now I don't like the way this lighting makes them look um I swear they look better they don't look that fake in real life um, but there's a little bit of a gap up here now I think I just put too much of this in the front and it's kind of pushing it and not sitting it exactly right but my bite is good so it must just be the way the dentures are 
and they were sitting so wrong before I put it in. And I got used to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I, when I smile, my lip is completely gone anyways. So, it's whatever. But that's the only complaint so far. But I will keep you guys all updated on how it goes. Because this could... This changed things for a lot of people. For real. If you're having trouble with adhesive and stuff, I would try it. At least as, as I'm going right now. Nothing negative has happened. Like I said, even if I have to take it out and redo it tomorrow, or if it falls out and I have to redo it tomorrow, it would be worth it to me just to have dentures secure for the whole day. So, yeah. That's my little first impression on the cushion grip. And we'll see where it where it goes. Hope you guys all had a great start to the year. And watch for the next video because we're going to be getting a little nitty gritty with it. And talking about how my dentures have affected my marriage. And our relationship, if at all. And getting some family insight from like my kids, my parents, my friends and all of that and how they view me and look at me with my dentures and how it's affected those relationships. So I'm pretty excited because I haven't really talked to anybody about it yet except for my husband. So stay tuned for that one and I hope you guys all have a great week.